Yo 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 what's up guys back again with me Mato Today's video I'm gonna show you of my process designed by manipulating image using photoshop I will use some new technique obtained from my practice last week that are really cool grungy style to apply for any type of design actually this is the continuation of my process design that are grungy threshold effect which was i uploaded last week and i figured to make another video but with different designs so you better understand this technique very well and hopefully you can apply this for your own project so without further ado let's go Alright, step number one is I'm gonna remove the background from this photo, trim all the edges. Because when we do this next step adjustment, it's going to make our life so easier. By the way, I provide the download link for this photo in the description below. Now I'm gonna speed it up this process a little bit, so stay tuned. Next, I turn this layer to smart object. So let's go ahead and go up to filter, camera row filter. I play with slider over there until I'm happy with the contrast and detail of my image. Add the camera row filter to bring out some more detail of the image, which will help with the color separation process that we do in the next step. Next, I will add levels to increase the contrast of my image and next go to filter again select noise and add noise go next to filter again sharpen and select unsharp mask actually there's no specific number for this you can free to play and find out the best result that you like but this is going to bring out a little bit more detail on my image. Alright, after we do the treatment and adjustments to the image earlier, the next step is adding and separating color to my image. And at this step will be the main core to make our design become stylistic look. This method can give you a ton of control over the colors of the image. That would be cool but I also think it's nice to have more of a screen print look. My approach is going to give you much more control over your image and you'll have a 3 color separation by the end of the video. Which is great for things like t-shirt designing. For this moment, I'm not explaining it is step specific, but you can watch my previous video that I already uploaded. You can check it out this video in the pop-up on the top right corner. That video I explain in detail about this process step by step so you can see and follow along the process. Alright, I'm trying to experiment with adding texture. Honestly, I do it to everything, I add texture to everything, I don't know why, I guess I just upset with it, I thought it would be cool, make more grungy and stylish with the impression like a real screen print look. I add my own halftone texture to the design, I made it by myself by the way, and if you really want to get this texture, it contains 10 high resolution texture, I put the download link in the description below. Now I'm gonna speed it up this process a little bit, stay tuned. Alright now, I'm gonna trim some part of this design by pen tools. I want to keep it simple and well focused in the overall composition. I cut out some area and leaving only the face and gun in the design. Then I texture for part of the face to create a surreal composition. 
I don't know if this will be great. Let's see. Next up for final touch up, I add some of shadows and highlight a little bit to bring out more lively and give it some more ambience. Now using a black solid color for shadow and white solid color for highlight. Painting all using the eraser tools and set in soft round brush. Then at the end change the blend mode to hard light to make it show up even more. And after that, adding elements and text to the design. For now, you'll miss me start a little bit. Let's speed it up, so stay tuned. Let's apply the design to a short mockup. By the way, I am using my own mockup to display this design. You can actually download it from my store, link in description below. Alright guys, so that is all for today. I hope you learned something new from this video. I'll be uploading another video later this week. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes. Thanks for watching my video. See you on the next one. Peace.